Hello everyone. My name's Piccadilly Sue. I'm just waiting here for my friend Andrew to come hi. by. Oh, hi. hey Andrew. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Hey Andrew, do you know where Abby is? I haven't seen her. Okay. I was hoping you uh, would know. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go look for her. Alright. Well, anyways, so we're all here in San Pedro and we've met lots of different friends as you probably just met Piccadilly Sue. I, I heard her from the other room that sometimes she has this weird mustache thing and makes me want to itch my nose. So I can't really be around here. And hey, look who it is! Hey, it's Sam Pedro! Hey, Sam, how you doing? Can you help me explain to these lovely people why we're doing this? Cause life sucks and there ain't no other reason, no, no other thing that you should be doing with your time here on Earth. Okay, well I'm sure you'll hear a lot of stories from her about this time here on Earth. <laughs> Maybe some stories from her. My days are numbered. Yeah, right. Yeah. We all know that. Got any beer? That's why we befriended him, and that's why you guys get to meet him. Thanks for joining us, guys. You got me, you got me bear. Oh, goodness. I hope you like our episodes. Bye. Howdy there. Welcome to our video vlog. We're coming at you tonight from San Pedro de Atacama. Um, tomorrow, we're going to the Salar de Uni. And here I have with me a visitor who has just returned from the salon. I'm good. Tell me about your trip. Well, I just came back. Paid my daddy's grave a visit down alongside the southern shore of the larger salt flat in these parts, at least. Wandering through the barren, desolate expanse, and I saw myself I see out in the distance a figure coming come towards me. And I knew this couldn't be nothing good, man. Because, you know, those things don't happen in these parts. But I just saw him get closer, and it was like, it's like a three legged dog with a hunger in his eyes. Oops, he just kind of sat down and started chomping on his own leg. And I said, Dog, you only got three legs. You best be saving the ones you got. And he looked at me furious. He had never seen some scum like me before. And I said, Bitch. <laughs> You ain't my daddy. My daddy's dead. And I set him walking. He just wandered off. Get where he came from. That's all I have to say. Well, thank you very much. Our next video vlog will be coming at you from Solar Day Uni. Hey everyone, good morning. We are waiting outside. We're here in San Pedro and we have all our stuff. And we're waiting to be picked up. This might be them. Go to a uni. Piccadilly Sue and Sam Pedro will be there. So make sure to tune in. Piccadilly Sue and San Pedro are nowhere to be found, but I'm sure that we'll find them somewhere along our trip along this great salt flat. Thank you. Please join us next time. Here we are, and we have found human seals in the middle of the salt bed. Ready, set, go! Slide! Isn't that incredible? You would never think that you'd find them here. How was that, Andrew? Hey, Andrew! It was a heaps good slide! Wow! That's incredible! Hello! Dancing! Ooh, Woo! Marina! We also have dancing people in the middle of an ice salt bed. What would this be? Here we are at the um, Lago Verde, 
which is verde because it has certain minerals in it to make it green. But because of the snow, you can't actually tell that it's green right now. But, oh dear, who is that in the distance I see? Sam hey. Pedro? How you doing, Abby? Hey Sam, how you doing today? Shady. That's too bad. He's As like, usual. Yeah, okay. Well, can't find me no beer in these parks. You, Not even a damn cristal. You want to tell us about the lake? Sure. Well, we're out here, lost, in the middle of nowhere. Nothing but, we don't even fucking have agua. No agua. Got nothing but arsenic and magnesium running through my veins. Chomping on some of that contaminant, contaminant ice down there they got running through these parts. Yeah. <sighs> Shit, yeah. Fucks you up rotten good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're from these parts, so you could be a perfect living example. Yeah, you know. Of, of the dangers. I like to call myself the rose that grew in the desert. The rose that grew in the desert. And you know, every rose has its thorns. Me, I got a few extra thorns. I would say that. Yeah. I lived myself a hard life. Yeah, but you're proud of it. But I am proud Don't of it. Don't you drink? Didn't you tell me you drink magnesium for breakfast? I do. Got it run through my veins. Wow. My daddy himself had the same situation. And he, I, I reckon... Did he turn green? I reckon that he did. Just before he died, just before he hit the rocker, he died good and plenty from that magnesium wow. uh, that was running through his veins and the arsenic. Yeah, we don't, we wow. don't talk about that too much. Uh, but his last words were, Son! You go down there to that dry lake bed and you drink you some water and that alimentation, that's what makes us a San Pedro lot, us Atacama family strong. We are at the Arbol de Piedra in this massive park of boulders. There you can see the Arbol. It's famous. Beautiful mountains in the background. And oh, who is it? It's Andrew. Oh, hello there. Why don't you tell us about where you are? Well, I'm on top of a giant rock. As a we big can. friendly giant left here in the middle of the desert. Quite logical, really. Really logical. This huge bowl. Well, um, how long did it take you to get up there? Well, how long? Just a leap and a bound. A leap and a bound. It's heaps fun. It's heaps of fun. Well, thank you, Andrew. Yes. And here is the rest of the park. It's quite beautiful. We're allowed to climb on all of it, which is incredible. And um, there goes Andrew. Thank you for joining us. More to come. Here we are in the middle of the uni approaching a mini salt flat. My friend Marina here is going to explain to us where we are. Marina, please explain. We are in the small salt lake. We'll get to the bigger one tomorrow. But it's an amazing landscape. Have a look. Wow. Woo. Wow. Look at 
us, look at us, we're approaching them, we're winning, we're winning. And here we have Jorge, our other correspondent, to tell us more detail on our situation. Uh, it's just that we, we have won already, look at that. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. You should come here someday. It's exhilarating. Hey, Andrew. Hey. I'm so dirty. I'm just covered in filth. So much filth. God, look at that. We are so high right now. Literally, the only thing above us is the sun. And the rest of the world is what lays below us. Even the street signs. All point down. <sighs> Wandering aimlessly is one of the symptoms of altitude sickness. My partner and I have been running, jumping, falling, crying, exerting energy. Leaping. Nearly every, leaping. <laughs> exerting energy in nearly every way possible. Even peeing is Even exerting peeing is excessive energy. We were all throwing <sighs> up during night. Oh, yes. Uh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> there was also some barfing. A witness. A witness. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about your altitude sickness. How do you feel, guys? Altitude sickness. I feel like I want to go upside down. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Really oh, God. Altitude sickness. You never know what's going to happen. Hello! As you can see, we have an abundance of volcanic rock. We have white volcanic rock. We have black volcanic rock. And more than anything else, we have an abundance of red volcanic rock. The red volcanic rock. Now, you may be asking, where does all this volcanic rock come from? Well, the answer lies just behind you, my friend. As you may be able to see in the distance, we have an active volcano that has been busy spewing lava for the last a lot of years. Many years. Many years. Many, many years. Yes. Perhaps millions of years. Heaps of years. Heaps of years, yeah. even, you could say. You could say you that. You see, it's, it's busy at work right now, yes. prepping for its next surprise. Which will spew even more volcanic rock, just like this. Yes. Over even more terrain. The volcanic rock is rather warm. Oh, God. Andrew? Uh, here's... And here's Andrew Wilbur with an interpretive dance of how the Salar is affecting him and his emotions. Look at that ass. Look at it go. Oh my god. What is that? It's incredible. It's incredible. Look at that. Look at that. Look how amazing. Oh, there goes the hat. There goes the hat. Here he comes. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, and flip to finish off. <laughs> I think you can understand what I'm talking about when I say the grass that grew in the soft flat. It's like analogous to the rose that grew in the desert. And there goes my eyebrows. Oh god, oh god you know he's serious uh, now. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Uh, no, okay. okay, so right now we're so driving that. through the great salt lake on the salt flat. Um, and it's only a few centimeters deep, but it's really, really cool. Okay, welcome to China and Nacho's episode of Phallic Objects in a Strange Place. Hello. These are phallic objects, and this is a strange place. Thank you. 
I would first like to discuss how this island is a perfect representation of the structural inequalities that have always been ever present in our societies. First, you can see that it is filled with all these erect cacti just announcing their presence and overtaking the whole island. I don't know, Abby. You'll also notice all the coral orifice around the island. But yet, notice how spiny the cacti are, how rough the orifice signifying a deeper underlying tension and friction between the two sexes. Definitely. Definitely, definitely an intentional metaphor by nature. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Harry. Oh, is that you, Hagrid? There seems to be an, an abundance of salt here, Harry. I wonder how that happened. Were you playing with the stone again? Uh, you were. I know you were. Oh my god, we're gonna get run over. Oh my god. Umbrella? Roll over, roll over. We're gonna oh, have to run. We're gonna have to run. Let's go, let's go. Uh, oh! uh, uh. <laughs> Hello, we are here on the salt spots of Bolivia today to talk about the natural habitat. I have a friend here who would like to talk to you more about the environment. Please welcome Mr. Bullstar Greenstash. Uh, yes, the the environment is very erotic. Uh, this it gets me uh, very uh, excited. Uh, Everything is uh, white. But I am not porn star. You How are mistaken. I um, this mustache is French. Because the French have mustaches like that. Yeah, we oui, we. Oui. But they don't really know. Uh, we do not want to offend the that it's actually French a porn star mustache in, in this our country. group. In this country, we are in Bolivia. But like I said, Bolivia, very erotic. They have yeah. like porn stars. Yes, very erotic. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Hello, hey, Abby. Hey, Andrea. What's Where are up? we? <laughs> We're in the Cuevas del Sol. What? We are in the Cuevas del Sol. You know what that means? No. I think it means caves of sun. I think so. Of sun. Of soul. Of right? soul. We're in the Cuevas del Sol, but I don't see any soul. <laughs> Because it's pitch black down here. That would make no sense. It's actually the Cuevas del Sol, Abby. <laughs> Sol. Right. Salt, not sun. Sol. Sol. Here we are in Valley de la Luna, which roughly translates to Valley of the Mooners. As you can see, we have some Mooners in the background accompanying us today during our shooting. Abby will uh, talk to you a little bit more about this subject. Okay, well here we are, <laughs> in the Valley of the Moon. We have actually trekked up here on bicycle. And um, for Jorge and Marina out there, when we asked you if you subir at all, you just should have said yes a lot. Well, I changed my facial hair today, but I'm still a badass I always was. Arsenic still flows through my veins. Came across this drug bust, Man inside the car asked me for some agua. I said, bitch, there ain't no agua. And there ain't no lobos either. So you just hang tight. 